Who was telephoning so late? Murray. He apologised. He's going to come here the day before the trial to talk it all through with Mrs Hughes, O'Brien and me. Boy, if they've been chosen and not the others, what do they know? Search me. I've told Carson. Will Mr Murray be staying? No, he wants to get to York. We'll meet him there the following day. Oh, my dear. I hope you can be strong if it goes against him. It won't. There was an awkward moment tonight between Mary and Carlisle at the end of dinner. Did you notice it? I'm sure Mary has him under control. Does she? I look at her and all I can see is a tired woman with a tiresome husband, not a bride on the brink of heaven. Wish I could understand why she goes on with it. Do you think there's some element I might have overlooked? Yes. Cora, if there is something and you know what it is, tell me, please. Perhaps it's time. I was hoping you'd say I was wrong. You're not wrong. But if I do tell you, swear not to fly off the handle. And try not to be too hurt. Now you must tell me, because nothing could be worse than my imaginings. Very well. Do you recall a Turkish diplomat who stayed here before the war? I think I can be relied on to remember any guest who is found dead in his bed next morning. It, well, that's the thing. You've been hiding from us. I couldn't do any more chatter. Are the Crawleys still here? They went ages ago. Mama and Edith have gone up. I'm so dreadfully, dreadfully sorry about today. I know you are. How's Anna? I sent her to bed. Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you stay with Carlisle because he's threatened to expose the story of Mr Pamuk dying in your bed? When did you find out? Your mother told me when I asked why you were still with Carlisle, when you were so tired of him. How very disappointed you must be. Your mama chose her moment well. And you're not the first Crawley to make a mistake. To answer your question, it is partly true though not entirely. In Mama's phrase, I am damaged goods now. Richard is, after all, prepared to marry me in spite of it, to give me a position, to give me a life. And that's worth it? Even though he already sets your teeth on edge? What about Matthew? How does he view the late Mr Pamuk? He doesn't know. So that is not what split you apart. I thought it might have been. Oh, no. There are other reasons for that. To do with Lavinia. I see. And those reasons are final? They are final for Matthew. So, yes, they are. Here's what I think. Break with Carlyle. He may publish, but will be a house of scandal anyway with Bates's story. Go to America. Stay with your grandmother until the fuss dies down. You may find the new world is to your taste. He'll keep my secret if I marry him. Once I might have thought that a good thing. But I've been through a war and a murder trial since then, to say nothing of your sister's choice of husband. I don't want my daughter to be married to a man who threatens her with ruin. I want a good man for you, a brave man. Find a cowboy in the Middle West and bring him back to shake us up a bit. <laughs> oh, Papa. Oh. <laughs>